Okay, so if you have an issue with your phone that gets stuck on the Android logo, CT logo, or track phone logo and doesn't fully power on, this is a kind of process that you're going to help you out to uh, resolve some issues. Okay, in most of the cases, uh, this process will help to calibrate the motherboard of your phone to, uh, to power on properly. Alright, so we're going to start using uh, volume up and power key. You're gonna, I wanna, there is a two process I would like to show you. Uh, the first one is to wipe the cache partition of this phone. Second one is a factory reset. Okay, so the first one you don't have to worry about losing any um, uh, data on your account. Like if you have any uh, videos, pictures, um, contacts stored in your phone's memory, you won't you won't lose them. Okay, so you don't, you don't have to worry about that. If you happen to if the first one doesn't work, then you have to do the second one, which is the factory reset. On that one, you're gonna lose everything. Okay, uh, email addresses, contacts, videos, pictures, unless you did a backup reset with your <coughs> with your Google account. Okay, so uh, using the Google account, you will be able to restore anything like contacts, videos, or multimedia and email addresses and applications that you buy from uh, Google Play right so it's very very important that you need to know the Google account the email and address because after doing the second process you will require to confirm your Google account in order to get to the home screen of the phone okay if you are not able to provide that then your phone basically is gonna get locked permanently so uh, please be sure that you have that information and also before you're doing this okay because um, you're gonna have to lose your phone unless uh, I don't know either there are companies that can um, remove completely Google account from your phone if not you need to change your motherboard so Alright, so if you agree with that, just uh, let's go ahead and start. We're going to use the volume up and power key. And as soon as the phone vibrates, you're going to release power button, continue holding volume up, okay? So volume up and power. Phone vibrates, release power button, continue holding volume up. You're going to see a little menu. Okay, release that uh, volume up when you see this menu appears on the screen. Using volume up, you're gonna okay automatically highlight the wipe cache partition. Okay, that's what you're gonna use first. I will hope that this one's gonna help your phone to properly um, power on. So just press the power key once. Okay, right here's confirm that you're gonna release uh, cache. You're gonna wipe cache on your phone. So yeah, it's okay. That's what we need to do. Don't worry about losing anything. On your phone, every information gonna be there. Just gonna clean the system, All right? So this automatically highlight, but you can go ahead and do this wipe cache two or three times. This is, uh, okay, so go to yes using volume down and power confirm. Reboot system now. Okay, just automatically highlight. Just press the power button for enter. Okay, All right. So at this point, your phone uh, will power on. Okay, so. Usually it takes five to ten minutes uh, when you do this to get to the home screen. Okay, so if it takes longer than ten minutes and your phone it doesn't take you on home screen, then uh, just remove the battery. Okay, remove the battery and you're gonna start over. Okay, wait five seconds and you're gonna start over again. <coughs> so when I put the battery. And we're gonna start over with the same process. Okay, volume up and power key. Phone vibrates, release power button, continue holding volume up. Release. Okay. Using volume up, um, <clears throat> you can go ahead and do again the wipe cache partition. Okay. Now, if that doesn't work, maybe three, four times, just go back and select the wipe data factory reset. 
Okay, so that's the that's the option that will basically restore your phone from to the factory values. Okay, so uh, like I said, to do this, you need to know your Google account and password, or at least you know the Google account because you can reset the password going through a computer or laptop. I mean, or yeah, tablet. Now. Um, Everything stored on your phone's memory you're gonna lost, like pictures, any files. If you did a backup reset with your Google account, uh, you you can restore them at the end of this process. All right, so be sure that you know everything. Now, if you agree with this, just using volume down, highlight yes, press power button to come to execute, and the phone will. Delete is wiping data down here. It's done wiping data. Now reboot system now is highlighted automatically. Press the power button to restore the. I mean power on the phone. So now it's gonna take another five ten minutes to <coughs> just wait five ten minutes. If this doesn't take to the home screen, so just remove the battery and start over. Be very very patient, please. Do five to ten times if possible. 95% of the phones that I have been fixed, they fix with this process. So that's why I'm posting this video to share this with you. Also, if you get a lot of um, drop calls, um, then also this also helps to fix the issue sometimes. Okay, sometimes it's definitely you need to call your pro provider and have them send you another phone, or or you can buy a new uh, motherboard for this phone. You can replace the motherboard a new one and that's, that's the way they can fix it but yeah some of the cases just with this hard reset external buttons will help your phone okay so if you have any question on this phone please let me know and please subscribe to my channel um, so you can have my videos as a reference in the future in case that you get a different model of things like that uh, I usually upload a different um, models that come in the market LG, Samsung, CT, Alcatel and things like that so uh, thanks so much for choosing my video. Any other questions, let me know in comments. Thank you.